Hi everyone, it's Leona with Leona's Designs. Back with Junk Journal, July 2023, day seven. Create with Scrimping Mommy prompts. And today I've chosen the prompt Pocket. Um, I was watching a video by Rachel Bella Crafts and Rachel was doing an origami pocket as part of her uh, July freebie of her release of her new digital kit, Truly Blue. And uh, she made this cute little origami pocket, which is pretty cute. And it's um, part of her digital kit that she gave this printable free and it measures about three and a fourth inches. So it was easy to make and I really appreciate her giving it as a freebie, but I wanted to make one today that was bigger. Uh, so I'm gonna try making my own in a size four inch because I wanna put it in my Junk Journal July on a page as a page element. So what I'm planning to do is uh, I had this needle painting book that I got free at the library and I tore some pages out of it um, that I'm going to use to cut out the, the four circles and a square. So I need to decide which one I want to use for my square. These are such beautiful images. And this paper is pretty heavy. So I've got quite a few here. And the square is what you see when you open it up. So I thought I might do this cute cat. When you open up, you see that cute cat. If it will measure up to four inches. And I believe it will if I leave the white space on there. So I'm going to measure this out. I have this template here that's four and a half inches. I'm going to measure it to four inches. And just cut that out. Not a real exact measure. So, hopefully I'll get it straight. Even with the template, I'm not an exact measure. Even with a GPS, I am still get lost. <coughs> My family laughs at me because Still get lost with the GPS. I still think I'm drowning when I have a life preserver on. It's just me. Okay, well, we have our four inch square now. I believe it should be. Oops, wait a minute here. Four and a half. So I'm going to have to cut off. I don't want to cut off the top. I cut off the white on the top. It will cut off. 
a little bit off the bottom. Look at four inches. And I measured it four inches and it was four and a half. Okay. <clears throat> and then I got this container that is four inches. So this is one I'm going to use to cut out my circles. together and see what we get. To make this, it's better if you have heavier paper or cardstock. Because when you're folding the circles in it into the little box fold. You need to be kind of sturdy. So now we have our four circles in our square. And what we do now is we fold each circle in half. if they have a lot of images in them. Okay, now what we do is we take each circle and we put it on each side. Decide which how you want it to look. And then we glue the back part to the back. So I think I'm going to... Now let me see how I want it to look. Ooh, that's going to be so pretty. It's going to be very pretty. Kind of red overload, but that's okay. So I'm going to start gluing these to the back. Just put them on there like that. And then you put glue on that half side. And then you just fold it over. Glue it down. Maybe I'll use this side for a little more color. In the red. Oh, I do like the red. Okay. 
Fold over until you get all four of them on there. Side, the little cat, and then you fold them and just overlap them. So they're just overlap each other. And then you just open it up like that. And you can put some melt paper in there. You can put, uh, you can put melt paper here. People could write little notes. If you want to glue down some melt paper um, or some quotes, different little quotes on each one. Um, a little hidden note inside. So I'm going to glue that down to this page in my junk journal July. I think that will be very beautiful. And make sure that I have the cat looking up. So I hope you are inspired to try this. I will link um, Rachel and Bella Crafts video to in the description box below and also her free printable for this little origami pocket if you want to print that out and try it. I hope you're inspired to maybe create your own either in four inch size or even a bigger one or a smaller one. But I thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and I hope to see you tomorrow for day eight. Thanks. Have a good day.